So uh, yeah, I need to apologize for there being no design on the slides because that was, uh, they were very much thrown together at the last minute. But uh, we're uh, group hex, as we couldn't think of uh, much for the name. The problem that we were looking at was for making hex maps. The one on the right there is one that Wayne had created manually, which is, uh, I, he did all of the layout and plotting things in and quite a lot of actually dragging things around manually in QGIS to uh, create those plots. So it's quite a lot of work to create those. The one on the right is one that he had a script to kind of try and do the layout, but there's quite a few problems with it as well. This is supposed to be all of Scotland and it's roughly the right shape, but lots of things are in wildly the wrong place. Paisley is not an island off the northwest coast of Scotland, despite some people wishing it was. So uh, we spent quite a while yesterday looking at the various options for what was out there already to do this kind of thing. And a lot of what we found was actually doing hex bins rather than hex maps. Uh, hex bins is a looking at heat map or scatter plot and putting a hexagonal grid over it and then coloring each hexagon based on the number of points within that grid. So it's really a heat map with hexagonal shaped pixels rather than what we're looking at, which is on the left there, a creating, uh, so we're looking at geographical maps with roughly equal sized uh, nodes as the base of the hex. And then you have to distort them because obviously areas with high population have a lot more nodes than areas with low population. So the Highlands disappears down to one point and Glasgow expands out to be almost all of Scotland. And for the ones with the whole of the UK, England gets quite a lot bigger and Scotland gets quite a lot smaller because we've got a lot more area per person. So it shrinks and uh, distorts. So looking at algorithms and ways of making the layouts and uh, trying to look at improving tooling for these to make the hex maps. And the trying to get a, a layout that has the least geographic distortion so that it's still recognizably what uh, you're looking for and things are still relative to the right place. So, yeah, you don't want things that started off in the north ending up way in the south and things like that. I, we think the uh, about the best of the tools that we could find were the OIs. Well, they're now OI. It was ODI at one point, which confuses lots of times in trying to find things and which version you're actually looking at, because both still exist, but one is older than the other. Uh, but OI have quite a lot of hex map tools. Uh, they've got a library that we've been using for quite a lot of the plots and some tools for creating hex map layouts from geographic data and tools for plotting things into them. So if I can pull up, they also, uh, that's further in the book. They've got a few example layouts that they have created in various ways. Um, I think they've started with an algorithm and then done quite a lot of manual tweaking for most of these. But I, yeah. I can't remember which one I had pulled up. It's local authorities. Yeah, so uh, things like this is what you can do. And their libraries are quite good for you can point at things and get extra data coming up. And you can also move them in this editor. So we can just make Aberdeen go way off the coast a bit. So we have done some things with plotting data. That's actually, so this one is a layout that Wayne had created manually for the Aberdeenshire intermediate zones in Scottish data zone definitions of how things are. Uh, so these are roughly equal population areas of Aberdeenshire. And then we, he had a data set that we can plot onto them and create things. And I think I have an interactive version of this as well. Uh, yeah. And because this is the interactive editor, we can fix the various bankeries with east being west of. So if we move bankery east out of the way, west back where it should be. So they're, they're now in the right order and you could fix any other things that you want to shuffle around. So this editor is quite nice, but it is a bit brittle. There's a lot of the things when we loaded data into it, bits of the UI disappeared or it started rendering things in places that they shouldn't have been and uh, things like that. But there is a, a export option down here. So you can 
after you've done your editing, you can save it as a hexjson that you can then load back into this editor, or you can uh, pull out SVGs or pings to use in whatever reporting you're doing. And this the tool also has an option for loading in more data files. So if you've got data files that map to these intermediate zones, you can load more data and then change what's actually on the plot. So it's really useful looking tool, but it's a bit brittle, so it could do with some fixes. Actually, I shouldn't have bothered with that because I now get to hand over to somebody else who's going to tell you things. I probably need to stop sharing so that you can pick up. Yeah, so uh, so we we trying to implement the libraries to to um, display the hex maps, and this is the first use of that with uh, again with the data that had been manually produced. Um, so um, we had some challenges trying to get the the name showing on the on the actual hexagons, but um, but we've made a lot of progress with uh, getting information to pop up as you as you hover over the map um, and then this is is the um, result of trying to work to um, automatically generate a map directly a hex map directly from the geographic information so um, it's still got a fair bit of way to go um, but um, at the moment these are probably placed you know geographically reasonably uh well but uh we haven't got the code yet to pull them together so that they're so we get rid of all the spaces um so uh that's i think that we're swapping over to the other display because it's a historical accident. <laughs> hmm. It's possible that it's actually true in the source data. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, well, I think that is the kind of next steps. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, we have a couple of things that we were thinking about carrying on for this. It's the, uh, yeah, could do with quite a lot more playing on this algorithm and others to improve the what we're actually uh, generating for the layouts algorithmically and also looking at curating a set of uh, layouts of the either generated by the tool and then tweaked a little bit or entirely manually done uh, ODI have created some of those for down south and all of the UK but creating ones for Scotland would be very useful and then we have done a little bit of playing with uh, creating plots so there's probably things that we could do for better tooling to make it easier for other people to if they've got data, just throw them into the hex map and make it not have to spend a weekend playing around with JavaScript before you can figure out to actually get anything to display. Yeah, I think that's the end of what we had listed. So does anybody have any questions? Just one one of the comments is, um, you know, I do I do think this is a really useful tool for display information. And um, I'm conscious that some of my colleagues in the Scottish government do try to establish standards around these sorts of things. So I will definitely go back and, and mention this and see, see if they've got interest. Any any questions from those in the room or indeed at home? No, well, I was, I was just gonna say, well done. Um, I thought it was really interesting. Um, and again, it comes back to the point that Jack made earlier in terms of, you know, there there is the potential for a Stuart saying, kind of endeavor to, to make this happen um but again there is a willing community out there i think that could possibly help on the outside or whatever should be a poor a boundary there but um it's an everyday interest for things like this to happen so see that coming about i think james has just posted a message uh i think hex visualization should be used more the project opens up something that's disappeared off the screen opportunities, uh, opportunities yeah yeah 
Yeah, no, I think that's great. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, well done.